It's the 10th of June, 2015, and I'm busy working on my new drip irrigated uh, hydroponic outfit here. You take some of this stuff here that they call funny pipe. It's basically half inch uh, sprinkler pipe, I guess. It's, well, it, you know, the sprinkler tubing kind of pipe. And what you do is you, uh, you take a fitting like this and get them at the sprinkler store, and you, you uh, punch a hole in the pipe with a a hole puncher like this. So then what you do is you, you get that and you go oh, you know, and you punch a hole in it and then you force one of these little fittings into it and then I've got a little, a little uh, piece of hose and then there's a dripper on the end. You see there, they're dripping. We've got two, two rows done. What we're going to do is take this line that I have just put all the uh, drippers on and we're going to feed it through this end and go all the way up through that end where it's going to stick out the other end and then we're going to thread these little uh, these little, little uh, drippers right through these little holes that I drilled. I have to put a, put a plug in the end of this cap so that all the water would, just won't come running out of the end. Let me see if I can do this one-handed style. And there it is. And then we just lean it down on here to get it on there good. Now we'll take the other end of this and feed it in through here. Feed it in through there and just run it up there until it gets to the other end. There goes the first one. There's the second one, running through there nicely. Okay, I've just hit the other end. Now I've drilled a hole in this, so this, this should come out. So, let's see if we can get it threaded through here now. Go back over here, and push this one back in there, where it belongs. And then, one by one, grab these, and thread them through. Kind of difficult to do it one handed, but I'll try. There you go. There, okay. There's one. Okay, I've got them all threaded through. And before I put the uh, drippers on them, I want to run some water through it to make sure that there's no nothing in the lines. Okay, so here we are. I've got the uh, this line hooked up. I've put another T-joint down in here that you can see. And it's now feeding up here. And you can see that, see the drippers are all dripping. And there's another one. They're all dripping. All the way down the line, they're dripping. It's got something on it. But anyway, they're all working, and now the next step is to put pots in them, just like I've got the one here. As you can see, this dripper has been submerged, but see there, it's dripping. So let me stuff that back down there. And we're going to plant things in here as soon as I get all the rest of these planted. I've got one more row here to do with that one to get the uh, drippers going, and then we'll... Uh, We'll plant probably beans in this whole thing just to see what it does. Okay, 
and everything's running. Let me just point out a few things. This pipe that I've been using, uh, I told you, I think it was, it's called funny pipe, but where you find this is in the drip irrigation section of your uh, hardware store. And it's half inch pipe, it's thinner than the normal stuff, but that's where you find it. And in case you didn't catch it, there's a, uh, when you go to the hardware store to buy these uh, drip irrigation hoses, there's a couple of kinds you can get. Some of them are very uh, flexible, uh, and uh, if you remember I said this is aquarium air hose tube, because you really need something that's very flimsy, because if it's got too much spring to it, what happens is this. You, I have to have this uh, tied down because otherwise this thing has enough flex and enough, I mean it's got enough strength that it'll pull itself right out of the cup. I'm going to cut this and put some more flimsier stuff on it. All this black stuff here from in this row on up there, that's all uh, air hose tubing for uh, aquariums. So that's one, one tip is you've got to get some very flimsy hose so that the, uh, the drip head weighs it down otherwise it'll it'll uh, it'll go all over the place but there it is and uh, filled the cups with perlite and I planted beans in most of them and uh, we'll see what happens in a few days and I'll keep you posted